I want you to watch this video, whether you're a seasoned SEO or someone who's just starting their first website. And I want to show you how you can take all of your competitors SEO and put it onto your website. The idea here is to do this completely for free. So we're only going to be using free tools in this video. Let's get straight into it. So we're going to be using ChatGPT 3.5. You could easily use ChatGPT 4. And I was trying to set this up with Code Interpreter, but it just was looking a little bit too complicated. So I just decided to do a free video, but you can do it with GPT-4 as well. And then the other thing we're going to be using is, of course, Google Ads Keyword Planner. This is one of my favorite tools, and I've actually started to realize that you don't really need Ahrefs or SEMrush if you get good with this tool, Search Console and ChatGPT. So make a Google Ads account. Don't start a campaign. Just say make an account without starting a campaign. Click on tools on the side. Click on keyword planner. Change the language to whatever language you are targeting. Change the country to whatever country you are targeting. And then actually we're going to click on start, <coughs> start with a website on the side. So we're not doing the normal way of searching for broad things. We're going to do start with a website. You then need to find someone who has a good website in your niche the way that you can do this is you can just search around okay so i'm gonna write navy suits on google we're gonna have a look um so we're gonna say best navy suits because we're doing let's say an amazon niche website or a google adsense website so yeah gq is a big one esquire is a big one for me i was not expecting to see <laughs> This is not a humble brag. I didn't know. That really took me by surprise. I was not expecting that. Wait, what? Wow, this is like a really bad blog post as well. <laughs> so unexpected. Uh, okay. This. Uh, if you don't know this, I wrote this just in case people don't know this. This is my blog post. I was not... I really wasn't expecting that. Anyway, let's continue. So you can keep going. Just look for something um, that you know, has, it's like a WordPress website or whatever's in your niche. So there it is, suitsexperts.com. And you can see straight away when you click on a website, whether it's the kind of website that you want. Okay. So if they have the ads, if they obviously an affiliate website, if they have the cookie pop-up, if they have the nice clean header with all of the kind of everything set up properly, this is a perfect website to, to kind of copy uh, their keywords, their keywords. Not their content, their keywords, okay? This is exactly the kind of thing that I would be looking for when I'm doing this. But yeah, you can uh, you can find out, you can, you can find a competitor in many different ways, but this is probably the best way to do it. Just search for a few things in your niche, find a website that has everything that you want to have, and then we're gonna take their SEO in this video. So what we do is we just control V their website into Google Ads Keyword Planner and we press get results. And this is actually how I found a lot of my keywords, not just from Suits Expert, but also from GQ, just many, many different websites as well. A really interesting thing as well is you can kind of see um, how much traffic they're getting. Oh no, that's if all of, if they were first for all of their keywords, there's no way they're getting 738,000 clicks a month. That would be crazy. And then what you want to do is you can either do it on average monthly searches. If you're just starting a new website and you want to build topical authority on your website, or if you're starting from like a low point of content, maybe you've got 20, 25 blog posts or something. Uh, but maybe you want to add to that. Maybe you want pillar posts, whatever it might be. Or if you've got a lot more content and you're just looking for kind of the emerging things, you can do three month change. And yeah, you can have a look at this. So this would be an interesting keyword. I should make an article about this. Formal suit colors for men. I really, really like that keyword actually. So I'm probably going to do that tomorrow. That's the article I'm going to make. But for now, let's focus on people who have a little bit less experience. So we'll do average monthly searches. And then we're just going to click here and we're going to press copy. So far, we've spent absolutely no money at all. Now we're inside ChatGPT 3.5. I'm just going to copy and paste. And then you can find this prompt in the description of this video. But basically it just says, take these keywords and create a content plan for a high quality fashion magazine. Obviously change this as you want. Just remember that like, even if you don't have a magazine, it doesn't mean you can't benefit from the way that magazines drive traffic to their website. I think that's something people forget. It's like, oh, but I'm not a magazine. It's like, yeah, but so you can still use 
their tactics to drive even more traffic to your website. You don't have to be 100% fully 10,000 word every article informational. You can have 500 word articles that will rank a hell of a lot better than those 10,000 word articles. The point is Google rewards good high quality content that's you know released at the right time and hits the nail on the head. So even though I'm not necessarily fashion magazine doesn't mean I can't benefit from how they drive traffic to their website. Please remember the titles should be incredibly clickable and can branch out into interesting topics in the niche, but always remaining popular topics. Please create a content plan for the first 50 keywords, but never use du duplicate concepts. Please output in a markdown table with all the information I need to give to my writers. The reason I say that is so I don't even have to like, I feel like if you give it the columns, it kind of messes up for some reason. So if I just say I need you to add columns that I can then give to my writers, it will just do it on its own. So I'm going to try and do something else at the same time here. I'm going to try and run this on ChatGPT4 as well. This is completely optional. And I don't even know if it's going to let me do it. No, it's not going to let me do it, obviously. So what do we have here? I'm going to go through this. Once this is done, I'm going to run this on ChatGPT4 as well. Let's try run this on ChatGPT4. I have a feeling that ChatGPT4 content is going to be a lot better. Uh, the reason that I say that is because it just understands things a little bit more, okay? So if you have GPT-4, I do 100% recommend that you use GPT-4. But if you are working with GPT-3.5 for free, it's really not that bad either. So these are kind of the topics that everyone needs to write if they're starting a website in this niche, right? You need to have an article about men's suits. You need to have an article about the perfect navy suit, uh, affordable suits, tuxedos versus uh, suits, dressing business casual. These are all huge keywords that I've already covered in my niche. But if I was just starting again from you know, when I first started, I was doing everything a bit ad hoc. I was just kind of coming up with blog post ideas and writing them. This would have helped me a lot if I'd had this because I would have had everything nice and planned out. So if ChatGPT does something like it gives you a lot of duplicates and things, which I believe it has, I'm gonna say, please remove any duplicate, any duplicate, I'm just gonna close. I'm gonna close ChatGPT4. It, the output was a lot better, but it's the same thing at the end of the day. Uh, please remove any duplicate content. So a lot of these, they really, like what you can do now is you can just put this into ChatGPT and write an article very, very easily. And this is how you cover your topical authority. This is how you grow a website from absolutely nothing. And then we'll say, please give me another 50. It'll just keep doing the same thing. It'll just keep going. Some of them will be duplicate. You will have to kind of remove some maybe manually. But at the end of the day, I'm seeing all of these concepts and I am I know for a fact that they are very, very good for this niche, which is exactly what you need when you're first starting a website, especially if you don't know that much about a niche. You need a good, solid, free way to cover your topical authority. And that's what we've done in this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.